Hi, it's Anya from Anya Marta Art. Today I wanted to share with you how exactly I prepare my images, how I resize them and then upload them to Spoonflower Shop. So follow me with those steps. We're going to go, uh, we're going to have our initial tile and the initial tile size, I always prepare the same size. Um, just to keep you informed, this doesn't always have to be a square. So it could be rectangle, it could be different shape um, and it still will be accepted into Spoonflower Shop as long as it repeats itself at the edges. So what we're going to do is image, image size and always when I have my startup square tile, I'll go for 24 inches by 24 inches in 300 resolution. And the reason is I go 300 because this is design I'm already working at and I might want to use it in different kind of shop, different purposes. Later on, you never know where you're going to need it. You might sell it somewhere else or whatever, because it's not vector. This is raster based image. You cannot make it any bigger. So why not keep that master copy for future and then you can resize that into smaller versions. So that's exactly what I do. So this initial one, I already saved up. Um, so it's 24 inches by 24 inches, 300. That will be my very first size. And that's already saved up. So I would go file, save us, and then save us that one. Then what we're going to do is image image size and now we're going to change a resolution because Spoonflower does take 150 as a default size so yes you could upload 300 however a Spoonflower will make it twice as big so it's going to be really huge huge size huge motives if if you know what I mean it's going to be twice as big Mm, so if I have that one, those flowers on the, imagine this is wallpaper, this little square here, and imagine this kind of blown twice as big. Mm, so that might be not, not your choice. So here we go and change 150 into resolution. Okay. And the way I like to save it is large, medium, small, just to give me an easy way to remembering things. Fail, fail, save us. And I'll call it Marigold 2 because it's my second design, uh, large and save. And then I'm going to go into image, image size and re resolution stays 150 and we're going to change into 12 inches. Okay. And again, it's entirely up to you what sizes you want to do. This is something I've been doing for a while and this is something that works for me. File, save us. And here I'm just going to change large into medium. And save. Great. Now we, I usually save up into one more size, but again, it's up to you. If you want to, for example, one inch little design image size, and I like to keep it for four inches. File, save us. And the best idea is when you upload your designs, you can do like a tester one and see how they look like on those products on bedding on um, wallpaper etc because so spoonflower gives you that, that option so, and save now we can close that and here we have my shop my spoonflower shop right here so what am I going to do? I'm going to upload my designs under here when you have my, uh, my dashboard. You go into upload your design. And you can upload up to 10 designs at, at the same time. So what we're going to do, we're going to ignore that number one. We're going to go large, medium, small, open. And here it's ask you uh, terms and conditions. So if you want to read through that and go agree and continue, I think it's about trademark, copyright and all, all the essentials. So 
you should probably read it once and just remember the rules. Don't worry if that looks very pixelated here because it's just a preview. So the way I like to do it is edit design and design library. It's really good because you can change things and bulk. So if you have quite a few designs that have the same information, that's the best way to do it. So this is name and under name you can choose different name if you want to optimize that SEO. So first of all, I'm going to change my thumbnail from fat quarter into swatch. I always keep all the same. There we go. Description. So I would put here floral pattern and drawn marigold mm, okay flowers you can just add on as much as you like uh, orange and blue things like that so it's up to you what you're going to add what i'm going to do i'm going to copy that and if you are what you could do really is put different, uh, slightly different description if you have time for each, just to increase your chances of them being found. Um, collection, here I have already set up my collections. If you go here into collections, I opened up a new window so you can see that. You see, if you want to create new one, just press here and it's gonna allow you to create new one you just put name description create you can make it into public or private and you can have as many collections as you like here i created very simple ones because this type of patterns i tend to create not necessarily in collections per se these are all kind of like folders i treat them more like folders so if I send it out for licensing, there would be very cohesive looking. Um, but here I just put all the flowers into one collection, all the kind of uh, children in one collection, you know. So it, again, it's up to you how you want to go about it. You can obviously make it into more cohesive, the same style collection and make more of them. So yeah, here we're going to choose. Uh, i got florals, florals florals so i can do at once quickly the same action in here tags tags are super important they really help your uh, design being found uh, for seo so we're going to go marigold mm. also it's good to put your business name And you can come you can really come up with lots of different tags i think there's a limit uh, i can't remember if it was 13 um, and just it will tell you if you have put too many so i just copy paste add add and add and if, if something comes to your head you can add that on the thing is you can always revisit that listing and improve that so it's not a problem so now these are kind of already there you don't have to save it anywhere it just exists and now what we want to do we want to make sure they are available for sale so i'm going to press twice on that little icon on that thumbnail rather and it tells you um, how to do it so here we're going to change that into for sale and just to let you know this is how it looks like and this is our medium size so how does it look like on a wallpaper on a bedding you can see and i'm going to go into for sale proof and start 
in, in the olden days on spoon flower you used to have to order a sample which was good and bad thing because it was very expensive if you have hundreds of designs people that have invested are a little bit miffed i think because um basically it's a lot of money put um that they they put into that process that looks good so you need to make sure it repeats without problem um, and now you just need to do that proof online proof and I'm gonna tick it for sale and now you can select if it's wallpaper or it's a fabric and old home decor product if you want this to be just like a tea towel so it's a placement product it doesn't repeat it's just a one size thing sometimes you have design challenge and that's what it is um, then you select that but if you want just your traditional wallpaper and fabrics this is what to tick and save and this is now for sale this is available and now i'm going back to my design lab library and and that was the one we just did and let's do that's gonna be small i think let's just order other way around but it doesn't matter really so this is our small design and again if you wanted to you could go even smaller more ditzy size maybe even like two inches or one inch um i'm gonna pop that for sale start and don't worry if it looks a bit pixelated here because this is repeated so many times next to each other that it's gonna look fine looks good and that just gives you an idea the small size and for sale and select that save and this is done now we have one more and how can you tell if something is for sale already and not? Basically, it says here for sale, for sale and private. If it hasn't been approved for a sale, it will be private. So no one else will see it. So let's click on that one. I think that's our large size. So these seems quite large. I did those flowers pretty big in that design. Um, for sale, proof. Start. And here you just go along those edges and see if everything repeats without problem. Everything looking fine. And it looks good. For sale. If it doesn't repeat right, you might have to revisit your design and resubmit it, making sure everything is perfect. So here, and you can also see more products here. It's always fun to see them kind of in real life <laughs> on products, on the mockups. And go into design library. So this is how I do it and like I said earlier because of these are such a big motives anyway per um, here I might show you this extra small here I did four different sizes for this little uh, gingham design and I did obviously large medium uh, small and then extra size extra small Let's have a look. Oops, don't want to save it to Pinterest at the moment. Thank you. This is our extra small and it just shows you how it looks like here. Okay. You can get even smaller guys if you were designing uh, for niches, like for example, uh, doll houses or something that requires for for a product to be super tiny uh, then I would definitely recommend going even smaller um, so yeah this is my way of dealing with those sizes and please let me know if you have any questions or any tips from you I would love to hear that 
and I'll speak to you next time. Bye!